a split weekend on Tap Horse, Tammy. It is. Today will be the day you have to kind of carry that umbrella, maybe mm. have a place to dash inside if you're going to be out and about, maybe having something to eat for lunch yeah. or play. So play not a washout is what you're saying. No, no. Okay. But, but I do think that you need to be prepared for be a aware. quick, quick mm, downpour. Yeah, right. a quick rumble of thunder, especially with all the sports that your kids might have. And if you're a gardener, you know, maybe do something this morning and tomorrow. But this afternoon, that's the time period that we're going to be watching for some showers and storms to roll through the area. At this point, now the storms look severe and maybe we get a little small hail with these. That's about it. So don't be surprised to see a little hail. Down the shore, what shore? <laughs> You can't really see anything. It is dense fog. It is fogged in down the shore. And that's how it's going to be for much of the morning, even into parts of the afternoon. Here in Philadelphia, not at all. We have cloud cover, but we have 10 miles of visibility. So we're not dealing with any issues here at Center City looking good. 63 degrees in Philadelphia. It is 64 in Wilmington, Trenton 63. You get down the shore now in Cape May, there's a little bit of drizzle with some of that fog. 58 degrees there. Atlantic City 60. And then we head to the Pocono still very mild at 52 degrees and you have the most clearing across the area at this point. Here's what to expect for today. Carry the umbrella out there. We're going to need it this afternoon periodically. Uh, 70s this afternoon, but we will see showers and maybe a thunderstorm rolling through. Some sun and near 80 tomorrow. That's right. That's not a misprint. Because of that sun and southerly winds, we're going to be headed toward 80, maybe upper 70s, flirting with 80 across much of the I-95 corridor. And a few storms tomorrow night. They could be heavy downpours that we're dealing with there. So here, here's what we're looking at with visibility. We have a mile visibility in Atlantic City right now and Millville, eight tenths of a mile in Wildwood. We have a dense fog advisory for all of the shore points. It is a marine fog advisory, but that does encompass all the beach areas and up into the Delaware Bay. So be aware of that. I'm not sure that you're going to go out and go boating today with showers and storms on the way, but just be aware of that. Here we are looking at our next weather radar and you can see the storm system lifting to the north. Here's the thing. It is swirling around in a counterclockwise clockwise fashion. So this is going to have to swing a little bit further east to start bringing in the activity into our area. We're also watching a cold front that is off to the west. So we have two different systems. This is the one that brought all the flooding to Fort Lauderdale. This is a pretty potent cold front. So we'll be watching the cold front for tomorrow night. Let's roll through what's going to happen. Here we go. Showers and some storms this afternoon. Then we get some breaks in it. We get some clearing for our Sunday. And then here comes that cold front with the showers and storms for tomorrow night. And then we clear out on our Monday afternoon. The rain really doesn't get going until this afternoon. Sometime between about uh, noon and three, you may see a shower. That continues into the evening hours. So let's time it all out for you. This is fresh information, a new update with the model. One o'clock, some spotty showers and storms. Again, the heaviest looks to be in the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. Here we are at six, rolling through Philadelphia and South Jersey. Then starting to clear out, maybe a spotty shower out there overnight. Look at tomorrow. We start with some fog and some clouds, but we clear out. Maybe a sprinkle or a shower in the afternoon, but for the most part, we'll warm up quickly. Then late tomorrow night after midnight and into your Monday, that's when we see that next chance of some showers and maybe even some storms, but it is not going to be a total washout by your Monday afternoon. We start to clear out and then we cool down. So we have 73 today, 80 tomorrow, 67 Monday, those showers in the morning, 58 Tuesday. There's that big cool down that's on the way. And then we climb again, 60s, 70s, and even near 80 by next Friday. We cannot shake the summer feeling, but you know, we do have to hang on to a little ode to spring right here on Tuesday, Jen. It's only right. Yeah. We still are in that season. We sure are. Thanks, Tammy. Appreciate it.